Welcome to Location, the Locator News Web Edition delivering top stories from a top newspaper. I'm Kelsey Castrava. And I'm Justin Silner, and here's your news now. On March 21st, 14 Cabrini students traveled to Washington, D.C. for the immigration rally. Students were among 500,000 immigrants fighting to reform current immigration laws. Immigrants came from all across the country to fight for their rights, chanting, Yes, we can. Cabrini students pulled an all-nighter on March 20th to benefit the American Cancer Society. Let's check in with what happened with the event. So this past weekend, I was involved with Relay for Life. We held this in the Dixon Center, and students walked around the track. And in the beginning, everyone walked. And then as the night went on, you just made sure that you had at least one person um, doing laps. There were also themed laps throughout the night. So there were team uh, laps where you would wear costumes. There was a decades lap. Um, where people dressed up in different costumes. We had a rave lap sponsored by the English department where we had glow necklaces and glow sticks. We turned off the lights and played techno music and, and walked in the dark. Um, and there were also activities all throughout the evening. So um, there were different contests. We did tug of war. We played family feud. Um, there were dance lessons, um, all kinds of, of different activities. The dance team performed throughout the night. Um, there's also a luminary um, uh, celebration where they're, they dim the lights and luminaries are lit all around the gym and people purchase those in memory of someone who has um, battled cancer. Um, so it's a night that is both celebratory and raising a lot of money and also a night that reminds us of why we're there um, and that is to support the loved ones and of those who have battled cancer and those who are survivors themselves. Overall Cabrini College raised over $21,000 for the American Cancer Society and a night that I will certainly remember especially as we got into the wee hours of the morning and we had to keep our energy level up um, to stay up all night and support such a worthy cause. On March 16th Cabrini hosted a speed career networking event a reception for alumni to interact with students on a one-on-one -on -one basis and assisted them in major and career exploration, job shadowing, internship experiences, and potential job opportunities. Students moved from station to station, spending a brief amount of time with each advisor in their area of interest. Professor and Chairman of the Department of Religious Studies and Co-Director of the Honors Program at Cabrini, Dr. Leonard Primiano has been awarded over $10,000 in grants from foundations including the National Endowment for the Humanities. The grants Permiano have received are already hard at work, improving the college and its religious studies programs. And now let's check in with Jake and Gianna with the Dirt Sheet. What's up all you stars and studs, I'm Jake Veterano. And I'm Gianna Cicatino and welcome to the Dirt Sheet where we give you the latest in entertainment. This week on the Dirt Sheet we've got some great stuff for you. We're going to give you the lowdown on Dancing with the Stars and the details on what's going on with Sandra Bullock and her husband. Also, we're going to shed some Cabrini news as well, talking about the SGA presidential election. All this and more this Thursday on thelocator.com. That's all we have for you this week. I'm Gianna Chicatino. And I'm Jake Veterano, the Glamazon. Ever wonder who lives in that tiny little house at the entrance of Cabrini? Hmm. Why don't we take a look at this video and find out? This is Josh on location. Let's check in with Mary Ellen and sister Christine Baltus for a quick tour of the gatehouse. How did you come to live in the gatehouse? Well, I had been working in New York for the last two years and I really felt I wanted to come back to the college and uh, help out in campus ministry. And I knew that the gatehouse was only occupied once in a while by a sister who lived in New York that would come down for an occasional weekend and she really looked after the house but I knew it was sitting here empty and it just made sense to me uh, with the price of gas for one thing but for other reasons too. It's quiet, uh, it's spacious, uh, I can have guests if I want to, this room, I have an extra room. Um, it's just I find it very, it's very quaint because it's an old house, it's probably over 100 years old but uh, because it's so well built and the walls are so thick uh, I can't hear really anything that goes on outside. Now back to you guys in the studio. And now let's check in with Liz with this week's weather. Hi everyone, I'm Liz and I'm here to give you your weather forecast for the next couple of days. Thursday is looking pretty nice with partly cloudy skies, the highs in the 60s and the lows in the 40s. Watch out for Friday though, the temperatures drop tremendously and rain and snow are being predicted. Temperatures will drop down into the 40s. Saturday, the sun comes back out, thank goodness. 
Highs will be in the low 50s. And to end your weekend, Sunday should be a gorgeous day with partly cloudy skies and the highs in the upper 50s. That's all I have for you today. Back to you at the news desk. On Wednesday, March 24th, Cabrini College hosted an intercollegiate career fair and government career fair where students can mingle with all types of organizations about different opportunities at that company. Now let's check in with Danielle and see how that fair went. Hi, I'm Janelle McLaughlin on location at the Dixon Center, and today we're at the Intercollegiate Career Fair and Government Career Fair. Students were told to dress their best and get their resumes ready for the chance to talk to over 60 employees who are looking to hire part-time and full-time employees as well as seasonal employees and interns. Let's take a look. What exactly is the Intercollegiate Career Fair all about? This is an event that is hosted annually by the SEPSHI Career Services Directors. Uh, it's an opportunity for employers to get together and meet with students and alums from the eight participating SEPSHI schools. So what exactly are you looking for in an employee? Oh, what are we looking for in an employee? Someone who is on time, dedicated, um, shows a lot of enthusiasm for what they want to do in their field, in their career. We're looking to just take on young, enthusiastic people as soon as they graduate. What were you hoping to find when you came to the career fair? I was hoping to find a job after graduation. Well, actually, my expectations revolved around the hopes of getting a job. We get a good opportunity to come to the career fair and see what else is out there other than what's at Cabrini. I'm Danielle McLaughlin on location. And now let's take a trip around the world. President Obama signed into law the controversial health care reform that will give over 14 million people access to a lower cost health insurance. The bill passed with a 219 to 212 count in the House, even though a majority of Americans were against the bill. The House reconciliation bill is now being debated in the Senate and 14 states have filed lawsuits against the bill, claiming the bill is unconstitutional. Google has shut down the mega search engine in China in a response to a cyber attack on Google back in December. The site is now rerouted to Hong Kong outside of the Chinese firewall. Google stated Google and more than 20 other U.S. companies have been victims of a sophisticated cyber attack originating from China. Google plans to keep all other businesses in China up and running. And now let's check in with Nick for your two-minute drill. What's going on, all you sports fans? Nick Golden here for your two-minute drill. The NCAA tournament has been filled with upsets from the start. Villanova loses to St. Mary's. Wisconsin and Temple beaten by Cornell. Georgetown toppled by Ohio. And the most shocking of all, Kansas knocked out by Northern Iowa due to an amazing three-point shot by Ali Baroque Manesh. Is this heaven? Heck no. It's March Madness. The number 19 men's lacrosse team beat the Drew University Rangers handily with a score of 14 to 7. Senior attackman Casey Grugan notched a game high five points in the victory. The Cavaliers stand with a record of 4 and 3. The Phillies are doing well down in Clearwater as they recently beat the reigning World Series champion Yankees with a score of 9 to 7. The Phillies hope Roy Halladay may be the key to a future of success. That's all I have for you guys this week. Tune in next week for more sports coverage. Thanks for watching this week's web edition. Tune in next week for another great episode. I'm Justin Solner. And I'm Kelsey Castrava. See you next time.